Good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. In this video, we will learn what is Lisko substitution principle and we will see the use cases of Lisko substitution principle. I'll show you a Java code implementation of Lisko substitution principle and we'll also discuss the benefit of Lisko substitution principle. So stay tuned till end of this video. It is going to be very informative and exciting. So be with me. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about open and close principle. Can you explain what is open and close principle and why it is so important in object oriented design and programming? Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen the previous video, I would recommend you to go and see that video. The link is provided on your screen and also given the description section of this video. Just to recall, what is open close principle is OCP states that a class should be open for extension but closed for modification. For more information, please go and see the previous video. Friends, here is the agenda for today. We will see the introduction of Lisco substitution principle, then I'll show you real, real world. Then I'll show you real world example of Lisco substitution principle. I'll show you Java code implementation of Lisco substitution principle. Then we'll understand the use case of LSP principle. We'll understand the advantages and benefits of LSP principle. Then we'll understand the summary of Lisco substitution principle. Then I will give you a brief introduction of next video that is interface segregation principle at the end. So stay tuned till the end of this video. This is going to be very exciting and very informative video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Okay friends, so let's start with Lisco substitution principle. We also call it LSP principle. Lisco substitution principle is the third principle of all solid principles we have. Lisco substitution principle states that object of superclass should be replaceable with an object of subclass without breaking an application. The Lisco substitution principle was introduced by Barbara Lisco in her conference keynote on data abstraction in 1987. It is an extension of open close principle and enables you to replace the object of parent class with an object of a subclass without breaking an application. This requires all the subclasses to behave in the same way as the parent class. To achieve that, your subclasses need to follow certain rules like do not implement any strict validation rule on input parameters in the child class than what is implemented in the parent class and also apply same rule to all the output parameters as applied by the parent class. In simple word, what we want is to have the object of our subclass behave the same way as the object of our superclass. So the next time by mistake, if you create an object of subclass instead of a superclass, you should still be fine considering the Lisco substitution principle. An overrated method of a subclass need to accept the same input parameters. Similar rule apply to the return value of the method. The return value of a method of a subclass need to comply with the same rule as the return value of the method of the superclass. Remember, if you decide to apply Lisco substitution principle to your code, that means the behavior of your class is more important than its structure. If the client code cannot substitute a superclass reference with a subclass instance, then it would be forced to do instance of checks to handle some of your subclasses. If this kind of conditional code is spread across the code base, it will become very difficult to maintain. Friends, now let's see a real world example where Lisco substitution principle violation scenario is there. Suppose we are building a payment module for our e commerce website. Customer order products on the site and pay using payment instrument like credit card or debit card. 
when a customer provides their card details, we want to validate it, do a fraudulent check, and then send it to the payment gateway for the processing. Once the payment is successful, we save the order information in our database. Now, after some time, the marketing team decides to introduce reward points to increase the customer loyalty. Customer gets a small number of reward points for every purchase. They can use the points to buy products on the site. But the important point to note here is this new payment method violates the LSP list cost substitution principle because there is no validation for reward points, no fraudulent check, and we do not send the details to any payment gateway. Hence, the feature of parent payment method can't be replaceable with the reward point payment method. This new payment method, child class, has different behavior than what is defined in the parent payment method class. Right? Hence, this is a violation of list cost substitution principle. Now, let me show you another example of list cost substitution principle. I have prepared a Java code to demonstrate LSP principle and I have shared this project in my GitHub repository. You can download the code and play with it. You can see the repository link is shared on your screen and also provided in the description section of this video. So download the code from my GitHub repository and play with it. So let me give you a code walkthrough for an example to demonstrate the Lisco substitution principle. I have written code in Java and I'm using IntelliJ IDE. I'm taking an example of book delivery tracking system to demonstrate LSP. So friends, I have a solid principle project where I have a list cost substitution package where I have all the classes related to this example where I am going to show you a book delivery tracking system. So here in this package, if you see, I have two sub packages where I'll show you how LSP is violated with these classes and how we have fixed it to follow LSP principle that is list cost substitution principle. So let's see a violation classes first. Okay, let me open a book delivery class. So if you see the, in this class, book delivery class, I have a title of a book and I have a user ID as an integer and I have a method get delivery locations. This method provides me a number of locations and it stores where this book is going to be delivered. So this method is very important for a physical delivery point of view. Now, at a later point of time, a marketing team wants to sell audio books or digital books. And that time, we also want to have delivery of those audio books. So what we do is, so we create an audio book delivery class, extending a book delivery class, and then we realize that get delivery location doesn't work for digital books or audio books. We can't implement this method for digital book or audio book. This method works fine for the physical book delivery where the location could be any store or any physical location. But for audio book delivery, it has to be certain software channels through which we can deliver it. Hence, this method breaks for the audio book delivery. So friends, here we have to change some of the characteristics of get delivery location method for audio book. And this violates the list cost substitution principle. Now let's see the fixed version of this problem. We have a classes in follow LSP package where I have defined a new set of classes where we are handling this problem of audio delivery or digital book delivery. So in order to solve the problem of audio book delivery, we need to fix the inheritance hierarchies Let's introduce an extra layer that better the differentiate the book delivery types. So we introduce two different delivery types, the new offline delivery and online delivery. So if you see here, we have introduced offline delivery, extending the book delivery and online delivery, extending the book delivery. 
and our book delivery has only titles and user id it doesn't have any method so this is a super class of book delivery and then we have online delivery class extending the book delivery and we have offline delivery class extending the book delivery now we have audiobook delivery which is extending the online delivery and here we have new method defined that is get software options coming from online delivery right so this method is perfect for the audio delivery or digital book delivery point of view this method will provide me software options channel options where and how the audiobook or digital book can be delivered and audiobook need not to worry about get physical location method defined in offline delivery class so this delivery location method remain unchanged unimpacted right so we introduced two different delivery types the new offline delivery and online delivery classes is split up to a book delivery sub super classes we will also move the get delivery location method to offline delivery and we will create a new software option method for online delivery class that is for audiobook or digital books now audiobook delivery will be a child class of online delivery and it does not have to deal with the get delivery location method instead it can override the get software options method of its parent with its own implementation now after this refactoring we could see that any subclass in the place of any superclass without breaking now after this refactoring we could use any subclass in place of its superclass without breaking the applications hence now lisco substitution principle is being followed right friends the very first questions come to our mind why to use lisco substitution principle so use lisco substitution principle whenever you want to replace parent object with a child object use lsp principle whenever you want to reuse code use lsp principle whenever you want to reduce software maintenance effort use lsp principle whenever you want to have loose coupling between your software components right so what are the benefits of lisco substitution principle we get lisco substitution principle gives you loosely coupled software component and it provides you flexibility to handle the changing requirements in future lsp principle helps you in code reusability lsp principle makes the software maintainable and lsp principle also introduce the loose coupling and reduce the tight dependencies between the software component okay friends now let me summarize what we learn in this video today so we understood what is lisco substitution principle we saw real world examples of lisco substitution principle like payment methods and book delivery transport system etc we saw a java code implementation of lisco substitution principle we saw how the lsp gets violated and how the lsp can be followed by making certain changes in our inheritance hierarchy we also saw the benefits of lisco substitution principle and understood the use cases of lisco substitution principle so friends let me know if you have already used this principle lisco substitution principle in your project or seen a scenario where this lisco substitution principle can be useful so provide your answer in the comment section of this video in the next video we will discuss about interface segregation principle we will see what is interface segregation principle we will understand the usage of interface segregation principle we will see a java code implementation of interface segregation principle and 
वी विल अंडरस्टैंड बेनिफिट ऑफ इंटरफेस एग्रीगेशन प्रिंसिपल तो स्टेट्यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो सो गिव इट अ थम्स अप एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल फॉर द मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन एंड डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कॉलिग्स This is very useful information for students, beginners, and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents, so please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology-related videos. Thank you.